Baseball has a rich tradition in Mundelein, Hill. The village of about 30,000 sits 55 kilometers northwest of Chicago, and while it's not everybody knows everybody small, if you're a resident of Mundelein you know a lot of the others. Illinois product Ryan Burutsky gets the start for the Blue Jays in Chicago on Sunday. Fred Thornhill, the Canadian press file photo, Blue Jays pitcher Ryan Burutsky, now 24, grew up in a town where the high school Mundelein, Ill, Mustangs were king, Instagram, and you probably know baseball. The Mundelein high school team, the Mustangs, is central to the community's love of the game with more than a handful of regional championships in the past two decades, a number of sectional and supersectional titles, and even a visit to the Class 4A state championship game in 2016. We've had good players, so when you win people gravitate to winners, said former Mustangs coach Todd Parola, who went 603-246 to over 23 years before retiring in 2017. Article continued below the high school's success has led to higher enrollment in Little League and improved facilities. And lately, one name in particular has added to the hype pitcher Ryan Boritsky of the Toronto Blue Jays. Hundreds are expected to make the roughly 45-minute drive to Guaranteed Rate Field, home of the Chicago White Sox, Boritsky's childhood favorites, to catch his first big league start in his hometown. Top Stories In your inbox, for the day's top sports news from the Stars award-winning journalists, sign up for our daily sports newsletter, obviously the community's going nuts, said Parola. I'm getting people I don't even know coming up to me in restaurants talking about Ryan, how good it is and how they got the MLB package and they never had it before. It's really been a community event. I don't think he has any idea back home the impact he's had on the little kids around here, because it's been definitely the talk of the community, that's for sure. Parola knew the 24-year-old Boritsky long before he spent four years in the high school baseball program, his sophomore, junior and senior years with the varsity team. Boritsky's dad Ray, a former minor league player himself, has been an assistant coach with the Mustangs for decades. And his mom Jackie has been the Dean's assistant at the school for almost 20 years. It was in his senior year that Parola started to think Boritsky had a chance at the big leagues. He could always pitch but it was between his junior and senior years that he grew and, with that, his fastball velocity jumped 8 or 9 miles an hour. After his first start senior year, I remember he threw two innings and I remember talking to a scout afterwards, who was, saying that was as good as they've seen a high school kid look, Parola said. His velocity's good, late movement and a great changeup already at that age, article continued bellow even before that, though, Parola said he knew the left-hander had the poise, passion and competitiveness to succeed, he's the kind of guy that every time he put the spikes on he seemed to get better, Parola said. He did a great job, even before he was dominant, of really making adjustments and if he didn't have a decent outing or he made a mistake, he learned from it. Those mistakes didn't go to waste with him, it seemed like. It seemed like, even though it was a poor situation or a poor result for him, he used that, in the future to make himself better, it's a trade Parola still sees in Borutsky, 0-2 despite a tidy 2.79 era after five starts, as he navigates his first season as a major leaguer. The former coach hasn't missed a start since Borutsky called him late last month, the day he got the news that he would be making his big league debut against the Houston Astros, he called me that morning and then actually I missed the call, and then I called him back and then he told me, Parola said. Obviously a very emotional situation, even for me, and I can't even imagine what his family was going through at that time. I've coached a lot of great players that have gone on to try professional ball, but it was just, it was a very emotional time and it was very exciting. Obviously, Parola couldn't be there in person for that game, which spawned a number of watch parties in Mundelein, but he traveled nine hours to the Rogers Center to catch Borutsky's home debut before racing home to be at work the next day, just to get in the stadium early and then all of the sudden to see him come out of the dugout, like, a half hour early and start doing his routine out in the outfield, it looked like the same routine he did in high school, to be honest with you, Parola said.
just to see him doing it on that stage, it was definitely a moment I will never, never, never forget, Perola now has the MLB package, too, and planned to cancel another scheduled trip to see Perutsky pitch in person on Sunday, a start that wasn't finalized until Friday. Borutsky was already excited before the Jays started their 10-game road trip and their pitching plans were announced, it's going to be crazy, said Borutsky, who still lives in Mundelein in the offseason. It's going to be unbelievable to go home and see all my family and friends and everybody. I live only like 45, 50 minutes from the park and I have a lot of family and friends out there. It's going to be just a fun reunion, just to be able to come home and see everybody and see all the love and support I got from my hometown and everything. Before the trip, Jays manager John Gibbons had mused about the timing for Boritsky with an injury to starter Marco Estrada, and later the trade of J.A. After the Yankees, altering plans for the rotation, maybe that worked out just perfectly, Gibbons noted that pitchers react differently to big occasions, some get too pumped up and overthrow, but liked the idea of giving Boritsky a shot. Anytime you can make a, dream come true, type thing, I like that, he said. Correction, July 29, 2018, this article was updated from a previous version that misspelled Todd Parola's name. Laura Armstrong is a sports reporter based in Toronto. Follow her on Twitter, at Laura Army.